Welcome back everybody. I hope you've all been keeping well. We are back on the farm and it's a lovely, lovely day in April. It's approximately 8am, we're just getting going. Uh, it's 12 o'clock. Whoa, 31 grand. Now I'm sorry viewers, something odd has happened during or between the last recording and this recording I appear to have lost approximately four hours of the day I thought it was 8am and also 30 grand has appeared out of nowhere so let's go and have a look and see what is going on right there we go thirty thousand dollar bucks under the miscellaneous section miscellaneous what does that even mean okay we need to uh well we need to have a bit of a chat don't we hey dusty my old bean how you doing son yeah i'm okay i'm doing real good okay you seem pretty sprightly listen i've got a bit of an issue here i've just kind of jumped into the farm <laughs> okay i know that confuses you when i say that but i'm here and we've got thirty thousand pounds in the bank account which makes no sense because I haven't sold anything and the last time I did the finances we had just over a grand, a grand and a half. Yeah, now let me talk to you about that. Okay, this sounds ominous, what's going on? I took myself off on a bit of a treasure hunt. A treasure hunt? What are you talking about? Oh come on computer guy, switch that brain of yours on, ain't it obvious? I found myself some cheese, big golden lumps of cheese oh okay gotcha so you found some cheese how much did you find it must have been three pieces right three lovely pieces of cheese and i cashed those bad boys in straight away we're flush computer guy we're real flush well i, I can't argue with dusty he's, he's taken his initiative i don't know where he's been to find these uh pieces of gold that he's well supposedly found but let's bring it up on the screen 31,000 and it says it in the finances so yeah I can't argue with it right I suppose we best uh, go and check around the animals and see what's what well the chickens are looking happy they've got enough grain they're producing some eggs the sheep again they've got, they've got plenty of grass they've got three I think even four bales of grass sat there so that's fine they are producing wool and I'm gonna come back to that in a minute because I've had a bit of an idea overnight about what we could do as our next step on the farm with Dusty lastly if we have a look at the pigs then yeah okay we could do with a bit more uh, food but I think they're doing okay hey YouTube guy I already did all that what do, you, what do you mean, Dusty? I already told everyone about the animals. I checked them all, first thing this morning. Really? Okay, I feel like I'm uh, being done out of a job here, everybody. Okay, I'm up in the uh, the Sky Drone here. Just want to check over things. We've got lettuce, that's great. So I think we'll just leave the lettuce going as it is for the day. Uh, I'm going to jump down and have a look at the... Uh, the field in a minute is certainly coming on that's great we know we had to do a bit of weeding before we've now got budget we could investigate the purchase of a weeder um, the animals are fine for the moment we've got some logs so I may get rid of those I want to see if selling these on a new day makes a difference but there's only four so I'm arming and arming out whether it's worth the trip the other thing we need to do is take the Landini down for repair because that's down to about 18% so that definitely needs to go and visit a mechanic uh, bees are looking okay I've seen that we've got some honey down here uh, let's just drop ourselves down a wee bit there we go we've got some honey we've got eggs yeah so I think that's fine Dusty if you're just off in the tractor could you hitch up the trailer and we'll get those logs loaded and shipped off down to the uh, the sawmill later on hold on a minute before I get going I'm gonna get changed I'm roasted in this jacket and hat. Ah, that's so much better. Got my old trusty hat on and my old leather jacket. Dusty, that looks hotter than what you were wearing before. Shows what you know, computer guy. Leather's cool. Keeps the sun off. I think it's time to get to work. You're looking sharp, Dusty. Crack on then and let's get this uh, Landini down to the uh, mechanics along with a load of logs. 
Okay, while Dusty is hauling these logs down to the sawmill, what I wanted to discuss with you, the viewer, is my plans for what's going to happen next. Now, I think... Okay, Dusty's been a bit resourceful there. He's gone and found himself some gold. We've got 30k in the bank. I'm thinking, if we can just get that just a little bit higher, we might be in the position to purchase some form of building which will get us into a production chain. Now, I think I'll go round once we get to town and have a look at what buildings cost what because there are different prices on each of those and see what the cheapest entry point might be for a production chain. So, we'll get into town and that's the first thing we'll do. Okay, that was a nice uh, wedge of four grand there for those uh, last few logs. I do think um, that it makes a difference if you sell too much in one day. That was a comment in the last video and I think that's absolutely the case. So we'll try not to sell too much lumber um, on any given day. Right, we're here at the store. I just need to unhitch the trailer and then we'll get this repaired. Repair is going to be 1,360. It definitely needs it. Repaint as well, but I'm not too worried about that at this stage. And repair. Happy days. Let's do a little bit of investigation then in terms of what different things we could possibly get into. We have the mill, we have the biogas plant, the cassaria and grats, the, was that a dairy? Um, drop off point spinnery, supermarket, chocolatier. GLW, uh, that's the sawmill. Over here we've got animal dealer. Okay, let me go and get prices on each of these and then we can make a short-term plan for the next couple of episodes. The biogas plant costs £479,000. The cheese place, which I presume is the dairy, will cost us £50,000. The spinnery, where we can currently drop off wool, will cost us £60,000. The chocolatier, Le Chocolatier, will cost us £50,000 as well. The sawmill, where we regularly drop off our logs, would cost us £100,000. And the mill, which I believe is the last property we can purchase on this map, £96,000. That covers the entire map. Now there isn't a bakery and we could look into purchasing a bakery uh, and there are other buildings we could look at in investigating. If we jump into the production menu, then we can have a look at the various other buildings we could look into. So the bakery is 50, carpentry is 60, a dairy is 70, a grain mill, which we have on the map, the spinnery, which we have on the map as well, sugar mill, tailor shop, and various others of different prices. So really it's a case of looking what's available and what might be the best entry point. I do feel that perhaps a spinnery is the place to go. That said, there is options for the bakery given that we do create eggs and we do also create uh, strawberries, but we, yeah, we're not gonna be creating any grain or anything for them, whereas the spinnery, which I think is, I've lost it now, where's it gone? There we go. That will take uh, wool and cotton. Okay, let's have a think about this. I am definitely of the mind that production chains is the way forward for any kind of longevity for Dusty in terms of making his home here in Erlengrat. But the thing that has suddenly come to mind is silage. Now, I didn't want to get back into grass we had a horrible experience to start with. I think that's just because we tried to start off too small and without the proper equipment. It took so long to pick up all of those small bales. I think if we went into this with some finances behind us, bought ourselves a proper mower, a proper baler and a wrapper and a bale trailer, then I think it might be a lucrative venture and we could start to get into silage. Sadly, today there is virtually nothing in the sales. There's one uh, auger wagon and that's of no use to us at all. So I think we're gonna have to jump up to the new equipment and I'm gonna have a look at mowers, balers and trailers. 
Okay, viewers, I have a tough decision to make here because we just aren't at the level of funds that we need. So mowers, I would be happy just to even start off with a front mower and not worry about the rear. Looking at the Kuhn nine and a half grand here for the GMD 3123. So that would be fine, nine and a half grand there. If we went down then to Baylor's, let's ignore the mini baler, the Massey Ferguson, that drove me up the wall. The next one would be the Pottinger. Again, I do like the Coon again, 57. We can get ourselves right up to 180 centimeters. So let's say we went for either of those two, 48. So that's another 48 grand we'd need. We then want to wrap it. So we look at a bale wrapper and for that size, yeah, again, we could go for the small one at 22. So you can see how the prices are going up and really the bale loader is the key thing because it took so long to pick those up by hand. So I think we'd go for some sort of automated system. Um, the Roland Pack mod, great, 16 grand. So we are in for an awful lot of cash to start with. Now I'm wondering whether or not we go for a mower and perhaps a forage wagon. We go for the smallest, the Boss Alpin 251. Yes, okay, it's only got a 16 meter cu a cubic meter capacity, but we're just starting out. And then I'm just going to go down because I'm curious to see whether or not if we were to build ourselves a silo, a bunker, the smallest ones here are 25 grand. So could we feasibly build our own silage bunker at the farm? And if we were to, where would we place it? So this is the smallest one for 25 grand. The problem we've got is just look at the gradient we've got here. It is insane. Yeah, just wherever we put this, it's going to be horrific. Just don't think this is an option. Having a look at where we originally had the chickens, where some landscaping has already taken place, even here, you can see just how awful the uh, the rolling fields are, and getting anything flat in here is just going to be an absolute nightmare. Yeah, I'm really unsure what to do here. I'm going to hold on to this cash for now, and perhaps you can put your comments down below and help me out in terms of what we could possibly do next. While I worked through that little conundrum, I did end up picking up a small weeder for nine and a half thousand dollar bucks just so that we can get this field weeded and maximize the yield as best we can. I've just pulled in to the homestead and I'm just looking at the piece of land up there. And I'm just thinking that there's another opportunity here to stick in a whacking great long but ultimately quite thin field. We can get this seeded and we've got another opportunity to get some crops out. This is quite a nice patch. I hadn't even noticed this before. This looks fantastic. Let's have a quick look at the map. Ah, oh, that's Dusty's old field. Don't forget to subscribe. Well done, Dusty. You're an absolute marketing genius. This area right here, right where we stood, I think that's a job to get on with. It's a new job for the day. And I think we'll get that one cracked out and seeded. We'll pick up the weeder first and we'll get that initial field done. Here we go. I have to say this really does feel like survival farming just weeding a tiny little plot that we've sculpted out of a, a tiny piece of available landscape here but every little helps and it's taking its time the whole journey is taking its time but Dusty's happy I'm happy yes I would like to be a millionaire farmer absolutely crashing through with the big big vehicles the big tractors the big plows but that's not what it's all about here ladies and gentlemen we are just getting by and making do the best we can not too bad a job there there's a couple of patches i'll just go back over those and complete and then we'll head over and create this new field 
Okay, I've just picked up the cultivator. I'm just having a bit of a recce in terms of quite what shape I'm going to create this. I think I'll drive to the top and we'll head down. The sun is going to start dropping soon, but it is April, so nowhere near as bad as winter. But I would like to get this done before the end of the day. Okay, we are just going to head straight down here. Creator Fills is on. Let's take this very carefully, Dusty. Okay. And just steady. Try and keep it as straight as possible. Yeah, right. I got this. Just need to have a think about how far we're going to go. I think it's coming up. About there, Dusty. Right, I think we're in the right position. You ready, Dusty? Yep. You just give me the word. Okay. Yep, go on then, head on up. I mean, this is meadow, so even if we get it wrong over time, it will just restore itself back to its natural glory. Well, that is the shape. I think that's looking quite good. We're going to keep it square this time. We're not going to worry about any odd shapes. Let's keep life simple. Right, Dusty, do you want to go ahead and just finish digging that lot out? And uh, I'll have a think about what we're going to do next. done fantastic job that last little bit over there we'll pick that up and then I need to have a think about what seed we should put in here I'm gonna to have to check the calendar and just see where we are great job Dusty thank you very much no problem well there we go ladies and gentlemen that is our strip that we've just created slightly unparalleled I must admit but I don't think that's gonna cause us any issues really happy about that so we've got two small working fields now which i think is very unexpected i never thought we'd actually get to that stage so selling the big field was a great idea it's put us almost ahead of uh, schedule so let's go and have a look at the calendar where are we in terms of planting season so we can now plant oats corn sunflowers any of these in green perhaps we should consider what we might want to look at in terms of a long term uh, production chain problem with that is we just don't yet have the money in order to purchase the equipment for specialist crops so cotton for instance which isn't available yet but would be sugar cane sugar beet potatoes they all require big machinery we have a tractor yeah i don't know because we're gonna need a harvester as well aren't we so i have decided to put soybeans in this particular field the advantage is that we won't need to purchase a separate header we've got oats in the other field so soybeans and oats that's fine um we can pick up a cheap i mean ancient combine from somewhere i'm sure which is going to be cheaper than the specialist equipment needed for potatoes and beets so i think that's the way to go sunflowers i love and corn i love but we're going to need a separate header for that so i'm just thinking a couple of steps ahead soybeans is the one we're going to go for The sun has dropped behind the mountains here in the valley. We're just finishing this last little bit of drilling. I think we've got it all. Yes. Oh no, that's looking a bit patchy along the top there. Let me just do a run along the top just to tidy that piece up there. Okay, I'm happy with that. Check the map. Lovely. All green, which means we are growing. So just while Dusty parks up the tractor and drops off the cedar, I'd like to ask my regular viewers what they think I should do on the new Carmsden Farm map, the UK map, which I uh, reviewed just a few days ago. 
I'm exceptionally keen to start playing that map. I'm really excited about playing a, a UK map. So let me know what you'd like me to do there. It could just be a straight up let's play. We could look for a specific set of criteria. Maybe we make it um, ultra realistic. Or we could go for perhaps another role play series and introduce a new character. Let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear your ideas and we'll see what we can put together in the next few weeks. Just before I wrap up for the day, I'm having one last look at prices and eggs I think we'll definitely keep hold of until June. We'll sell what we have in June and then we'll start to store again for a big sell in November. But jumping down to wool, the best time we're ever going to have for wool is pretty much now, April, May, June. So I think I'm going to sell what wool we have now and then we'll start to build up another stack of wool for another sell later on in the year probably again around this time next year so we'll see how we get on we'll get rid of the wool we have it's not a great time to sell honey so again we'll keep hold of that lettuce we looked at before january is definitely the time for lettuce so we're just gonna hold lettuce for now so we'll get old dusty to jump down pick up the last bits of wool he's already got a few odds and sods of logs on the back so those can go as well and then that will be the end of today's episode. We have three bundles of wool on board, which equates to 800 litres. I think the price is about 3,700 at the spinnery, but that's per 1,000 litres. So if we walk away with 3,400, I'd be happy, I think. Right, just pulling in here. I know we should be able to sell but not necessarily there we go 2973 not too bad let's go drop this wood off so there we have it ladies and gentlemen we have a new field we've dropped off some logs and generally things are moving along nicely let me know your thoughts in the comments below as usual give me some ideas about what we could do next let me know what you'd like me to do on the uk map series and yes by all means like this video subscribe if you want to hear notifications as and when they come in take care all and i hope to see you all in the next episode goodbye